Hey everyone, this is James from Animony Aquascaping. I thought I'd make another vlog video for you guys. Um, this time I wanted to talk about this 120 centimeter aquarium. This is um, the newest fully set up aquarium in the gallery. It's um, about 20, 25 days old. And um, I wasn't showing anyone because right after I put out that first video about it a few weeks ago, it got completely trenched in algae and I've never had such a horrible start to an aquarium before. Um, usually with the new aquarium setups we'll have like diatom algae issues which is kind of like that brown algae that you see like along the bottom of the aquarium but this one had um, the worst green dust algae outbreak that I've seen in a new aquarium before and um, I don't want anybody watching to kind of panic that that'll happen with their aquarium. Um, it's pretty much my fault. So if you were following along for a while, my old 90 centimeter aquarium had the same green dust algae issue. And I did reuse the plants from that tank, although I thought I had gotten rid of it completely. So it's not really a big surprise that it happened. Um, it's unfortunate, but I, I can't say it was completely unexpected. So it almost definitely just transferred from the plants that I had in the old aquarium. So if you've done research on this type of algae before, um, there's kind of a, an accepted way of dealing with it in the hobby where you would just let it sit and grow for, let's say, several weeks to maybe a month or two. And, um, and then after that, you would lower the water level about to 10, 20%, and you would wipe it down with some paper towels. Um, just in case you're getting confused, the green dust algae is the type that just wipes off with the touch of your finger, not the one that gets really stuck on the glass. That's green spot algae. Completely different issue and not one I would be as concerned about. Anyway, um, this method just never worked for me personally. Um, I don't want to say that my method is better. Um, and I can't say it's going to definitively work for everyone. It just happened to work for me so far. <laughs> So what did I do differently? Um, well, I set up a UV sterilizer, as you can see right there. And um, this really changes the whole philosophy of the green dust algae. So a UV sterilizer it has a UV light that's kind of um, contained in here. That way you're not exposed to it, obviously. And um, it has a water pump attached. And the, the idea is that the water will flow in here, go through the UV light, and then out um, the other end. So basically the UV sterilizer will kill anything that goes through it and um, kind of sterilize it on the other end. So rather than being afraid of the spores being released and spreading throughout the aquarium, um, I wanted it to. So I would wipe down the glass every day. It was all over the plants and the wood and the rocks. So I would wipe down everything daily with the water full and the you know the um, the filters running and everything and I just let it all circulate through the sterilizer now this sterilizer is very small for this aquarium it's actually designed for a smaller aquarium like a 20 gallon or maybe even a 40 gallon so it wasn't working at first until I put it right next to the outflow so that way when it goes through the filter it goes directly in and um, at that point it worked just fine for me so I guess it's a little hack. If you get a smaller UV sterilizer, but you put it right next to the filter, it might work for you anyway. So I would let, uh, I would wipe down the glass daily. I'd wipe down the, the plants and the, um, the wood and stone daily, let it run through the UV sterilizer. And I would also do really large water changes, um, about 80% every other day. Um, it took about a week or so to get to this point, and I'll try to leave some footage of what it looked like previously, um, and you'll see is kind of a mess. So we're not 100% there. When you compare this tank to, let's say, the other 260 centimeters, it's not quite as clear, but it's definitely getting there. So um, if you're struggling with this type of algae or you just wanna take a note of this in case you just happen to deal with it one day, um, this is one option that's a little bit different than 
what's most accepted in the hobby right now. Like I said, I can't definitively say this is the best way of dealing with it. I haven't completely gotten rid of it. I still have it on some of the leaves, so I'm going to be either wiping it down again or just um, trimming the leaf completely. But it's just another option. Um, now, just to go on to a different topic, I have to make a few equipment changes to this aquarium. So um, I currently have two weak aqua A430 pros on this aquarium. And um, previously in the last layout, I had two UNS Titans. Um, I wanted to switch to these just because I thought they were a little bit more powerful. But what I didn't realize at the time was that um, this is an older model of it, and this is a newer model. And if you look carefully, you can see the color spectrum is a little bit differently, even though I tried to set the lights the same way. And if you look underneath, you can see that the left light is definitely more bright and powerful than the right light. And so it kind of creates, uh, you can see that it's a little bit darker in this corner than this side. Um, I thought it would get better when the aquarium was filled, and it, I thought it was okay, but it seems like I really can't get it to be exactly the same way. So what I'm going to be planning to do is just switching it back to the way it used to be. So these two 60p aquariums have the UNS Titans on them, and I'm just going to move them back to this four-foot aquarium and just move these two to each aquarium since they only need one light each, and they'll look fine after that. Um, I'll just show you guys since we're, we have the opportunity how these two aquariums are doing. Um, they're due for maintenance, but just to give you an idea of what they look like. I had taken so many plants from this aquarium to fit into the 180 centimeter, so there's a few bare spots that I have to fix up. And this one's going to be getting a trimming once it grows in a little bit more on the stems because I need to use these stem plants for the 180 centimeter also. Um, I'll just show you very briefly. The Altums are growing so much faster now that they're all by themselves and I've been targeting their feeding a little bit more. It's kind of crazy to see how much they've grown in just like a week or two. Unfortunately their fins aren't completely repaired yet. Um, I do have some CO2 running on the tank although the amount is not quite enough right now. And I'm going to be making videos about this aquarium more formally but you can see that there's some soil in the aquarium now. I'm waiting on some plants to arrive also. So um, anyway, just a quick off-the-cuff video, a vlog style, um, just to share my experience with dealing with this green dust algae. Um, if you've ever had success doing it the more traditional way or you have your own way of dealing with it, I'm curious to hear about it in the comments, but um, this way I think is working. I just need to see what the long-term prospects are going to be once I stop running this UV sterilizer. I'll probably cut it back gradually, just like I'm increasing the light intensity gradually as well. So anyway, hope you enjoyed, got some insight, and um, I'll have some more content soon. We'll be going back to the beginner series this Sunday. So hope to see you guys soon, and thanks for tuning in. See you in the next video.